Aloha Friday. It's another Friday uh, with the Yap Show. I'm your host, King Zilli, and I'm sitting here with uh, Bianca Tubellino and Quante Love from the show, uh, from the new movie that's coming out to theaters near you, Popolo. Uh, I like to say I took a little time off today and I came back just for this movie. It's going to be a great movie and it's a, a whole community effort behind it. So uh, we hope you get enough information and we hope you inspire you enough to go uh, support the movie Popolo. All right, welcome to the show. How Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, Bianca, uh, I got in touch with you through Datsu, one of mm -hmm. the uh, people, uh, one of the martial artists that is helping train the actors on the set. So uh, um, thank you for being here. Uh, uh, thank you for joining us at last minute too, Quante Love. Thank you. And uh, why, don't you guys, uh, uh, why don't you guys tell me a little bit about the, the, uh, the movie, the title, Popolo. I'll let uh, you take uh, that one. <laughs> what, is, what is Popolo? All right, let's get into it. Am I even saying it right? Wait. Well, it, it's a Hawaiian word. I, I learned this word when I came here, and I was in a theater, and I keep hearing this word, Popolo, Popolo, Popolo. And then I asked the playwright, what is Popolo in it? Black guy. Okay. Mm. So I went to the Bishop Museum. And in the Bishop Museum, there's a, a plaque. Okay. And Popolo is a dark berry. It's the base of all medicine. Base of the medicine on the island. Okay. So we have this derogatory, supposedly, term used for black guys. But it's medicine. Ah, here lies the story. Here we go. All right. And that's how, the, that's how the, the title became Popolo. And I want it to be shocking, and I wanted it to be a, a title that represents this island. Okay. So if you leave this island, the only people that know about really Popolo is if you're from the island. So that links our project personally here, just to start off. Okay. Okay, that's that's a good that's a good way to approach it. So uh, you mentioned uh, when you came here, where did you come from, and when did you? Oh, I'm here? from L.A. Okay. I um. I spent, I, I moved to L.A. in 92 to do film, and then um, I brought my sons here. So I have two sons at the university. Okay. And when I was here, spiritually, everything happened spiritually. I had a dream to stay here, do a film, and so we did. Okay. And when you walk around Hawaii, right. you, you start feeling the spirit in the different areas. And, and you hear the voices call, and when you answer it, you know, a magic happens. And that's what happened. That's how Popolo came to so you're, you're not only the main actor in the movie, but you're also the writer. I'm one of the writers. One of the writers. Edo Natasha is, is, is a gentleman. He's a director. I met this guy two years ago. We've, we've been working on this project for two years. For two years, okay. Two years. And Edo joined the United States military okay. to be an American filmmaker, but he's from Indonesia. And when he, yeah. Right. He came from Afghanistan, and I was in a play at Tag Theater. Okay. okay, he's the assistant director. This guy sits me down and he tells me <laughs> his story and dream about being a filmmaker in America. And I was laughing on the inside. I said, this is going to be impossible. And he's an Asian guy. He's right. not even American. But he joined the military to do this. So spiritually, I'm connected. Wow, okay. That's, that's another route to take, right? And, and that's how it started. <laughs> and then we wrote a script together, and two years later, here we are. That's exactly how it happened. You know what? We do have a clip on that, how he tells the story. Of oh, he does. How, yeah. how he uh, um, started on, he had to go to the manager and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. So uh, while our uh, control room cues that, I want to go to Bianca. Uh, how did you become a part of this project? Well, Quante and I actually were acting Okay. at Tag Theater as well, so everything seems to happen right at Tag Theater. Okay. And Where is Tag Theater, by the way? It is right downtown, right by Dull Cannery Theater. Okay. Yeah, right by Dull Cannery Theater. It's a great little theater. They do amazing work. But um, he showed me the script. He told me about the project. I read the script, and I was like, okay, I need to be a part of it. And at first, I was like, oh, I just want to act in it. And Aquante was like, no, 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 no. You, <laughs> you need to be a little bit more. What do you want to do? And I was like, eh, I'm not sure. And eventually, you became, became, I'm a producer. Yeah, you're a produce, became, actor, became a producer. producer. Okay. Yeah. Well, what does it take to be a producer? What is the, Ooh, the a lot of work. <laughs> you have to know everything inside and out. And okay. this is actually my first time producing a movie. Oh, wow. So I am learning as I go. I'm, okay. I'm in charge of the marketing aspect. So, you're so getting the word out there. That's okay. my job. Well, welcome to the show. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think we have a trailer, too. Um, is, uh, can we start with the trailer? Oh, that would be good. All right. We'll, we'll do a trailer real quick just bit to get people what, um, what we're talking about, and then we can go more into it. Oh, okay. 
私の幼い頃によくかぐや姫のお話をしてくれたの覚えていますかあのお話の中で私の一番好きな場面を知っていますかがお月さまからかぐや姫を迎えに来た時天皇は彼を取り押さえるためにヤクザたちを派遣するじゃないにはなりませんでもお父さんは誰もが自分らしく生きるべきだって教えてくれましたよね私お父さんのその言葉から学んだの私は自分の運命の主人公だった私は自分の心の支配者だって。私を受け入れるとともに私を愛してくれます。Right, that was the, the trailer for Polo. It looks like an exciting movie,、uh, a lot of action in there. And、uh, actually,、uh, while we were playing the movie, I was told, Bianca, you said there's a lot of、uh, training that went into it and your fighting got a little better. You want to tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, from like the first poster to the first trailer, our team has just grown and grown and we put so much more work. So the fight choreography is even more intense at a higher level.、Okay. The camera work is at a higher level. And everybody's just really grown and come into their own. So it's really amazing to see. That's good. And、uh, um, so, how many people do you have working on this film? If you can give me an estimate. Ooh. 25 to 30? The cool thing about the people、right. is everybody's first time doing the job they're doing. Everybody. Even、it's、you? Everybody. Oh, wow. No, not me. <laughs> It's my first time doing my own feature. I've、okay. done a lot of short films and one film festivals, but to write a feature, yeah, it's everyone's first time. First time director, first time producers, all the producers their first time, first time everybody. Our、that、cameraman is a 21 year old guy. That fits perfectly with the theme of the show. In a young adult platform, we try to speak to young people in China. Connect them with you know, the real world out there. And wow, is that to, right? Yeah, so it's、yeah. good that you guys are doing that. You know, we promote、uh, creativity,、um, you know, getting out of your comfort zone and, and, and learning about what's around you to be a part of that. So it's good to hear that you have、uh, first timers、uh, trying to learn. And they're all in 26, they're, they're young. Oh, wow. Everyone's、yeah. young. Everyone's a young crew. We had an older crew、right. when we first started, but it, it, the energy was just different. But then all of a sudden, we have all of these kids, man. And it's like having someone's child、right. and you're giving them a start in life. And you're giving、that、them a shot、powerful. in life.、That's、and、powerful. each one of these kids, man, when this film is done, they'll be able to take this film and say, This is my first job. Dude, that's a resume. That's Checkmate. A resume. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah. so that's the energy that's why it's going to blow up because it's everyone's first time. Oh, wow. You're hearing it here, here first on the,、uh, the YAF show. It's everybody's first time on the, on the show for Polo. And,、uh, Like I said, I went on the internet t r y to find out what Popolo was. It's, thank you for clearing that up,、uh, how it is. Some people say it's derogatory, but not to the extent of what you might think. And I like that you pulled that in there. Well, you know the cool thing about it? 
Mm. And the controversy is good too, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Funny. I mean, they see it's a poll and they're like, "What?" Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You put it in Google, you'd be like, "Hold on, hold on, hold on." Well, why? You? And actually, before Every. I came on here, one of my friends is like, "You know, you need to ask them about why they use the poll." Mm -hmm. Like, everyone's that, shocked. Right, yeah. shocked already. So, in and itself, it, it's a good uh, way to to get that going. So, kudos, man. Kudos. Oh, my thank you. So uh, let's let's talk about a little bit about the training. You know, I brought up Datsu. Datsu was the one that approached me. He said, "You guys are in your marketing phase. How has marketing been for you guys um, so far?" It's been pretty good. We have a lot of local businesses who have been helping out, and that's kind of the goal for right. marketing. We want to get as many local businesses involved as possible. So when we do bring this to Asia right. and abroad and to the mainland, so you're taking it bigger than yes, than oh, we right. are. Yeah, okay. We are taking it. We have a huge plan. Okay. So when we do take it to Asia and all these other places, these local companies and right. these local businesses have something to show for it. Right. So now when people go to Hawaii, they can say, "Oh my God, there's that business," and it may not be. Like Alan Moana Mall, right? Right, 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 right. It's the small businesses that we really want to start promoting. And are you including these in the credits? Oh, yes. yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Um, oh, yes. Valerie Joseph is a local boutique. She is doing all the wardrobe for a lead actress. What a, what a great way to, you know, promote yeah. your business, right? Yeah. You know, you're part of the movie, you're doing a, the... Chico's. Chico's. Where we shot our, where we shot our, um, where we shot our trailer at, and we had uh, with the Japanese tea house. These people were so amazing that they, they just trusted and, and, and let us... Use, use their facilities. Okay. Yes, you know, like we said, we give you credit. And it's like no, very beautiful as it turns. It just gets bigger and bigger. The fix. The fix. We're going to shoot on the. They at the gave fix. us their their space for free. Oh wow! To do a fundraiser event. And how much does how much does the space usually cost? Like I mean, you mentioned, some of these people is it more? A lot. Yeah, it, it depends on um on on who and where and how long. Like right now, we're we're, and you know the the, the great thing about it. Hawaii is a neighborhood, right? And so, if you come to people and we don't do a neighborhood project, it becomes a neighborhood project, right. and people start looking at it and saying, "Hey, I'll, I'll give you this and I'll help you with this." And that's where we are. People are just coming out of the woodworks and helping us. We still need some things, though. Okay, <laughs> right. we still need right. some space. Right. We need some office space. We need a house and we need a garage. Taxi. So come on, we need a taxi. <laughs> Okay. Oh, hey. You know what? Um, you did start from a Kickstarter. Uh, no, event. we didn't even go back for that. We went Indiegogo first. Oh wow. We did four media social. Four social. Four. You know what? Let's yeah. let's dig into that right when we come from the break really quick. This is the Yap Show. I'm here with the stars of Popolo and a producer uh, as well. Uh, first time producer, <laughs> <laughs> marketing, everything. Everybody getting a first start here. It's Aloha Friday on the Yap Show. I'm your host King Zilli. Stay with us. Hi, I'm Donna Blanchard. I'm the host of Center Stage here on the Think Tech Digital Series. The show is every Wednesday from 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock, and I want you to watch this show because I think that when we talk with artists on the show about what they do, how they do it, and most importantly, why they do it, I believe that it resonates within each of us and we find something inside of ourselves that brings us closer to all of humanity. That's what arts are there to do, and that's what I'm here to do on this show. That's Center Stage. It's on every Wednesday from 2 to 3 o'clock. I hope to see you there. Here's with a nonprofit, a local nonprofit. Hello. Welcome back to the YAF Show. This is your host, King Zilli. Before we went to the break, we were talking about how uh, um, uh, how they got started. Uh, uh, it's the movie Popolo, by the way. I'm here with my host, uh, uh, with my guest, Bianca, and Quentin, uh, Quinte Love. Uh, pardon my uh, accent. I'm, <laughs> I'm actually from um, originally from um, Liberia. Oh, is that right? Yeah, the whole. Oh. So I have an accent that comes out once in a while. So uh, play along with it um, as we go forward. So uh, right now um, we have a Kickstarter video, which I think is a great video to so show, so you can see behind the scenes work. And then later on, uh, we'll talk about how you can get involved. So there's still there's still space. For people to help, so um, I think that's part of it that you guys are here um, trying to uh, open up opportunities for people to still be a part oh, of, yeah. the, of, the, of the shoot. And this is your last day of shooting as well, too. So we'll, we'll okay. talk about we'll the talk last about day of the first week. The last day of the first, first yeah, week. Yeah, we shooting. started on Monday. Okay. Yes. And you have uh, how, mu how much time do you have left? November twenty-first. November twenty-first. And when do you when do you foresee the uh, the final project? Because I, I imagine it will go to edit in and then all yeah. of that. The new, turn, the new year, coming the new year. The new year. Okay. we'll have time to edit in. So 
So probably like February. February, okay. On Black History Month. Uh, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> Check it out. Oh, that'll be perfect. Oh, that'll be outstanding. Yeah, that'll be Why don't we do that? <laughs> Polo, Black African. Black <laughs> History Month. You know, I think that's what we're going to do. Yeah. And I just thought that up right now. You Thank know what? You. That's really, that, yeah. Let's that's, do that. Yeah, it's controversial. It's good. It's, let's do it. All right. So um, we have a Kickstarter video here. Um, let's check it out real quick and we'll come back. We'll talk about what we see on the, on the screen here. This is Popolo, the Kickstarter. Hi, my name is Ada Natasha. And I'm Quante Love. And we yeah. are Mata Hard Films. We have this meeting and we start talking about shooting a film. We came up with an idea, hmm, action movie. Very exciting, energetic action martial arts that everyone could relate. And every character has ebbs and flows in their lives where they have to overcome something, some sort of redemption, some sort of forgiveness. Why I joined the project. Um, I read the script and I met Edo and some of the other castmates and I honestly fell in love with the story. It's extremely well written and it's very different from anything I've ever read and the people that I'm working with are just amazing. One night I was having dinner with a friend at Ala Moana and he was like, hey, let's go to Box Jelly. There's this networking thing going on and I said, okay, I'll come along. And as soon as I popped my head through the door, there's Edo right in the corner sitting with Quante. Um, and we just got to talking and they introduced me to the film. Quante handed me a script, I read it, and I loved it. And I've been a part of the project ever since. Okay. <laughs> film Popolo it was quite a page turner. Uh, I really uh, felt like I could connect with the characters and you know I, I knew what they were feeling. The shots, sequences, the action, uh, special effects, I, I could imagine it in my mind right away. I'm really glad that I can actually uh, be a part of it and uh, make such a great film. Yeah, high kick right away. When you see the high kick, that's I read a script from my friend Tyler that sent it to me over the email and I felt like it and I get encouraged to pursue my dream, become a fight choreographer, and become a one of the staff. You're just going to have some impression right here. Because you're going to slam something like that. Uh, I'm really interested in this uh, because there's so many talented people in this feature, and I really like the, you know, the setting for the movie, and I think it'll be really great. Our character Apollo goes through the different parts of the story we see that he's affecting people and being affected. He's healing and being healed all at the same time. People locally now uh, use the word Popolo to refer to African American. Uh, it's particularly a black berry. It's called nightshade, and it's the base of all medicine on the island. I joined it really because I see a dream, a dream for Hawaii. What I'm believing is that would-be producers and directors and actors who are right here on these islands will start to dream and say, if, a, if Popolo can do it, we can do it. Uh, with your donations and your support, uh, we can really make this thrilling masterpiece. Support us, guys. I'm really excited about the production, and hopefully you guys get on board and donate and help us out. Watch Popolo, and you'll see what we're talking about. Thank you. All right, ready? Ready? Ready, sis? Okay, that was the Kickstarter video. You guys want to tell us a little bit what was happening in that video? <sighs> well, that was our first trailer. Right. All the footage that we had from that that video was from our trailer. Okay. Um, during the trailer, we didn't have everybody casted yet. Okay. So we had a lot of people helping. Since then, we've added a ton more people. Um, some people left, some people came on, and our team has just really grown. Okay, that, so. that's good. And now, um, what does it take to be an action star? Like, what kind of training goes into it? What does your day-to-day -day, uh, preparation look like? We actually, Saturday is at Capulani Park at 9 a.m. Okay. We have Popolo training. <laughs> is, is it still sa uh, every Saturday? Every Saturday. Even this Saturday? This Saturday. Not this Saturday. Not. Because we're shooting yeah. now. Okay. 
but we've been having a group of people, people from the movie, and other people who just wanted to join and work out with us. Have been working out with us 9 o'clock every morning, Saturdays at Capulani Park on the football field. I know Quante and Rick have we been... We have a photo of that. I don't know why we don't have that photo uh, to show of people that want to be a part of the Popolo workout. They just show up. They just show up. And, yeah. and we train them. Anybody, whoever, whether you're in the film or not. Just Everyone. a community just, thing. Just to have that. Okay. Just to have it. And right. so people will come out and we take a photo at the end and it keeps growing and growing and more and more people right. keep showing up. At least they have invested interest so when the movie does come out, you yes. know, hey, they I was training with those guys. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that's a, that's a good strategy. And she came up with that idea, the proposal yeah. worked and, out. Yeah. And we have a poster out there. Uh, you guys oh. want to, uh, who, uh, that's the dark what night. Is the idea, what is the idea behind this poster? Uh, an amazing artist, Mr. Scott Gatto, it did this for us, this poster. I like this poster. Is it the main movie? No, poster? that's not the main movie. Poster. Okay, is it, is it a concept still going or? Well, we, 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 we have is various different movie posters throughout the theme of the movie. This was from the photo shoot, so we can give people an idea of um, what Popolo was. Right. Because we're trying to pitch a movie. Right. No one has an idea. We didn't have a trailer. We just had a story, and no one was getting the, getting the concept. Right. So the first thing we did was do a photo shoot. Okay. And put a poster out, and so now we got the visual. Okay. And so once we had the visual out, then it's like, okay, now we have the script and the visual. Now we got to do a trailer. And as we were doing all that, we were bringing a team together, trying to piece it together. Okay. And having fun. <laughs> I mean, having fun. And you mentioned this is not your first time doing it, so you probably you obviously know how um, this, the, the, the process of getting a movie done. Or is it is this completely different than what you've done before? Or is, uh, how, is, how is this compared to what you've done before? You know, it's the same procedure. But it's just longer. It's just a bigger, instead of a 30 minute, it's an hour and a half. Right. But the energy, I think each project, mm -hmm. it depends on the energy of the people. Right. And if you do it with a certain energy, it, it's fun. Okay. Like this is a spiritual project. Everyone that's attached is here from a dream they would have. Right. And then Popola would show up, like Dasu, right. a fight choreographer. He had a dream that he just wanted to do that for the rest of his life. Right. Two days later, he meets me and he's going to be on our team and he tells me, I had this dream and oh my God, that guy on the set last right. night. Yep. You know, uh, uh, one of our fighters on the set, he said he had a dream about, he just wanted to get started into acting. He didn't know how. And then all of a sudden he see Crapus and right. he comes down and boom. Boom. Everyone. Yeah. That's beautiful, man. That's and when beautiful. you're on set, it's always excitement. Right. Even at like, I was amazed. Even at like 12 o'clock at night, we're shooting. Everyone's right. tired, but everyone is so excited. Right. Invested. Invested, you know? and everyone is really, exactly, exactly invested. They're just excited. They can't wait to show the movie, and they're proud to be a part of it. Right. There you go. Which is something that I love about this film. That's cool. And and now you, Bianca. Um, uh, you had mentioned earlier, you're, uh, I want to see this transition. How are you, from an English teacher, you say you're an English teacher. Yes. <laughs> and uh, you told us a little, uh, earlier you were an uh, actor uh, also at, yeah. at the Tate Theater um, by, uh, what, Dole? Dole, Dole yeah. area, okay. So I want to tell us how, how, let's get more deeper insight into how you became part of this. How does an English teacher become a movie star? Well. Or a producer. <laughs> a producer. Let's do it. <laughs> Well, I've been involved with theater and acting since I was like 11. Right. So the theater, the acting part, it's just a passion of mine. Right. And I actually teach adults from around the world English. Oh. So as a teacher, you're performing. Right. You're selling. Right. You're selling right. English to a bunch of 20-something-year-olds that were partying right. <laughs> the night before. So you always have to be on. Right. And I think being an English teacher for multiple different cultures, people from around the world, it's allowed me to adapt right. to different people. Our, sh our cast is so multicultural. They come from so many different backgrounds. It's amazing. Right. And when I go into a marketing plan, I know how certain people will perceive things. Right. And I know how to present. Because as a teacher, you right. present right. and acting. Right. You turn it on and off. So I think it it fits very nicely. That's good. Eh? <laughs> and if your students are watching, she's not pretending to teach your class. She's actually teaching <laughs> your class. That's a good one. No, just... some days I have to. Some days <laughs> I'm tired. I'm like, all right. <laughs> right. <laughs> so uh, are you originally from the island? No, I'm actually from New York. From New York. How long have you yeah. been here? One year. One year? Oh, wow. Yeah. It's like fresh start from everybody, you know? Yeah. That's cool. Okay. How are you liking it so far? Oh, I love it. Okay. I you, absolutely love it Are you going to make it a long term? 
Probably. Probably. Yeah, okay, I'm just going to see where life takes me, but I'm very happy here. Okay. So. Do you uh, are you also part of the training when they when they go um, when they start training the actors and whatnot? Oh yeah. You're part of it. Okay, that's good. <laughs> yep. So uh, why don't you why don't you guys uh, give me a sense of uh, the, uh, difficulty that you guys had? What what is the hardest thing of trying to you know uh, make this movie a reality? One of the because I, I can tell you guys are having a lot of fun, but there has to be a difficult days. Uh, can you enlighten us on those? Belief. Belief. People's faith. People have, you know, very little faith in themselves. So um, they put very little faith in other things. And what we have a problem with is, is people's faith and belief. Because they'll tell you they're there. Right. Then they're not. Then they're not. They'll tell you they're there. Then the check doesn't come. But then, then they'll see the trailer. Yep. Goes, oh, my God. I, I, okay. Now, it's just, it's just based, I mean, basically, everything is based, this is spiritual. Okay. And we're teaching people how to have faith, man. Bringing a little hope. And you, Bianca, would you feel the same way? I would say so. It's, like you said, people will say they'll do something, and then they don't, but they're waiting to see what the project is right, like. Right, right. So we, we've had a lot of people who weren't 100% but they still kind of want to be a part of it just in case. Right, right. But, you know, since we've had the trailer, since we've had the posters, more and more people have been joining, and more and more people are starting to believe in the project. Okay. And after this week, we're making another trailer, which is going to be even better than the first one. And right. I can't wait to see how many people get involved after that trailer. Right. Because um, that trailer, the trailer that, 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 that you're watching, right. is not from the movie at all. See, that was staged. For the story, <laughs> the trailer we're kicking up now is right. from the actual it's shoot, the actual from shoot. the actual shooting that we've done. Can I promise my audience we'll get a uh, what? Uh, can I promise my audience we'll get a, a clip of yes, that? Sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, we'll All right. Fancy. So stay stay tuned with us uh, on our next show. We'll, uh, once we get that trailer, we'll play it for you guys, so you guys can be uh, uh, well invested into the movie, and I want you to support it uh, as best as you can. Now, um, I want to talk a little bit about. Um, uh, uh, Let's see here. The I want to get into the nitty gritty, the money. Uh, how are you guys funding this? Where did you get the funding from? And uh, honestly, actually, let, let's hear about it after the break. Let's take a quick <laughs> break. Think about it, and we'll come back. Uh, this is the Yash Show. Uh, we're uh, uh, talking about the movie Popolo coming to a theaters near you soon. Aloha. My name is Daniel Luke, and this is my co-host Tsu Ing. We'll be here every other Monday on New Media, The Bleeding Edge, on Think Tech, talking about the intersection of social media and the news. We'll cover technology, trends, and other fun stuff. Did I leave anything out? Well, I'm here to keep you honest, so that's my job, to remind you of everything you've forgotten and uh, to challenge you at every point. Excellent. My wife tells me that I'm wrong about quite a lot. Welcome back. This is the Yap Show, and we're talking about Popolo Aloha Friday. Thank you for being with us. And uh, I'm here with uh, uh, Bianca and Quante, and we're talking about the movie uh, Popolo uh, coming to you soon. Um, you still have time to actually invest into the project. And uh, if you, uh, if you, if you want to do it through our show, we are at ThinkTechHI. That's our Twitter handle. Or you can send us an email at youthplatform at uh, uh, Outlook.com. Okay. Now, um, before I left, I was trying to talk about um, the nitty gritty, the funding, the money, because obviously everything, you know, there's uh, you have to have funding for it. You know, the camera crew. Uh, uh, I don't know if the producer, actor, or uh, you know, set and everything like that. So why don't we, why don't you just give us a little look at how that looks? We've been doing different um, crowdsourced funding, so like Kickstarter, Indiegogo. Okay. But what's been amazing to me is that things that we need just seem to like pop up. Seems to manifest Honestly, wow. it's, it was amazing. We were talking before the trailer. We were like, okay, we need someone to help shoot the trailer. And we were at a coffee shop. We were just talking about it. And the cameraman from the first trailer comes up and he's like, oh, I, I'm a professional camera. I just, I want to get involved. You guys don't need to pay me. Like, wow. don't worry about it. He showed us his reel and then we, we shot the trailer. Just like that. So we, we do have funding coming in. We right. do obviously need to pay the, tr the um, actors, the crew, but it's amazing what people are willing to give right, when they right. believe in a project. That's, a, that's so cool. It's just been absolutely amazing. And you mentioned earlier that you guys are um, uh, 
why don't you take a minute to look at the, your, your license, because you need a license to shoot a movie, right? Um, uh, and you mentioned you're a nonprofit. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? How's yes, that we are partners with a nonprofit. Right. It's called Children's Group Society. The oh, owner wow. of the Fix actually owns it. Oh, he Mikey. has Mikey. Yes. Mikey, great guy. Amazing great guy. guy. Great guy. Great guy. Um, he hasn't actually officially launched it yet, but he is a registered 501c3. Okay. His nonprofit is going to help at-risk youth okay. or kids who just need a place to go. A young adult platform. Yeah, a young adult at-risk youth. <laughs> exactly, a young adult platform. And what they do is they take these kids and they teach them how to produce music. Oh, wow. Produce film. They have an amazing spot under the fix that the kids can just hang. And they want to get equipment. So if there's anybody who wants to invest, they can invest into their nonprofit. They right. can get a tax write-off. They will pay for the equipment for the film, but then the kids get to keep it after. Oh, okay. And there's a mentorship program. So if they wow. want to sit down with Edo and learn how to direct, he can show them, okay, we're going to choose this clip because of this. That's cool. If they want to learn marketing, they can sit down with me. So everything about the movie, we want to give back. Right, right. Honestly, we want to give back to the island as much as And you as are giving back as you're doing it. Yes. So it's, it's investing into the community. Yes. So that's amazing. That's cool. What's the name of that uh, nonprofit again? Children's Groove Society. Ch children's? Children's Groove Society. Children's Groove Society. All right. We'll, pl we'll blast that on the, um, on the screen here in a little bit here. So um, is there anything I'm not touching on you guys want to enlighten us on? Well. I have a lot more questions, but along with the, with the finances, when you do your part, right. we're broke. Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> since we're broke, we're not trying to say I'm going to pull out the money. What we have to do is what we are capable of doing at this point. All right. Spiritually, the money comes. The people come. The people just show up when you believe in a project. More and more people start believing. It just starts happening. So. And Sorry, uh, sorry to cut you off. Uh, you're mentioning a lot of spirituality. Are you a very spiritual person? Oh, completely. Let's take a look. Completely. We're beyond, you know, you're a black man. Right. You know what it's like to yeah, be a right. black man <laughs> when we walk outside these doors where people perceive us. Right. And because we're on this island, we get perceived different than we do on the mainland. Right. And after all these years, you start turning into something different. We become more internal. Right. And you start hearing the vibrations of life. Right. And then you start following that. That's where we are. And now we turn around and we, we teach other people how to have that same vibration because look what we've gone through. Right. We've gone through more shit than anyone else. So therefore, we can teach the world. Right. The black man's voice is the only voice that hasn't been heard yet. Oh, Barack Obama, he brought it out <laughs> by being the first black man on right, TV that right. people are used to talking to. They're not used to hearing from us. Right. So when they hear from us, they're like, oh, my God, these guys are wise. I'm like, beyond their imagination, because we live on a different vibration. And you're, you're actually touching on a, uh, one of my uh, theories that I had in, in sociology. Uh, uh, you know, I, I study in sociology leadership youth, and youth studies, uh, a bunch of degrees there. But, um, and what you're talking about is double consciousness. You know, mm. It's called double consciousness, theory of double consciousness, where you're viewing, it's like you're viewing yourself and how people are perceiving you. And especially comes to re in reality when, uh, let's say a cop, you see a cop, you're immediately thinking, what am I doing wrong? And that, or whatever is perceiving you. So it's good that you, uh, That's a psychic ability that grows in the exactly. individuals. And it's not in everybody. It's Only not in everybody. Only certain individuals yep. get to have that. And I think Webb Dubois was the one that, that, that did an amazing job on that theory. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Nice. Nice. Okay, so I have, a bunch, I have a couple of pictures here that I want to show, and I want you guys to tell me who, um, you know, who's in it and okay. what their role is, okay? okay. So um, here's one picture right here. Can you tell us about what's going on here? This was for the poster, right? This is a photo shoot. That's yeah. the guy. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a suit you're wearing, the poster, yeah. Right, that's Edo Natasha. He is our director. And Christine, she is the makeup artist. And is she, is she uh, a local business owner here? She is Or is she not, one of the people she's that... Actually, she just graduated, oh. so she's involved with the theater community as well. Okay. And she, yeah, she's early stage for Polo, too. And is she a volunteer, or...? Yeah, she volunteered she in volunteers? the beginning, okay. yeah. Cool. So that's Quante Love, that's Edo on the left, and uh, who, uh, what's her name again? Christine. Christine. Yes. Great makeup artist, great makeup artist. And of course, that's you, Quante? That's my twin. <laughs> Our producer is saying, is that with makeup? <laughs> is that with makeup? Where did they get that photo from? That's a nice shot. 
I got that off your Facebook. Oh, you got that. <laughs> ah, <laughs> okay. I needed to find something. That's Edo. That's Edo with his yeah. camera. He's looking yeah. through the future. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Then that's the man that started the vision. That's the guy that had the dream. And he, he's in Hawaii here now, right? He, he, he come directly from where? Uh, Indonesia, but he was Indonesia. stationed here. He was stationed here, okay. And he, 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 he derose out of the military here. Okay. No, ah, Kristen. 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 She's one of the other producers. Okay. She grew up in Hawaii, so she's local. She, she's amazing. She's a very hard worker. She does great work as well. How many producers do you guys have? Three. Three? Yeah. And, and do you rotate or do you have different roles? We have different roles. Okay. So Kristen is kind of Edo's right-hand man. Okay. Anything Edo needs goes right to Kristen. Okay. I'm in charge of marketing and the publicity. And then Tyler is a producer, but he's assistant director. He's an AD. Yeah, he runs the set. He runs the set. set. Okay. And there's our Christine. She's so busy. She's our makeup artist. She's one of our. She's also one of our producers, also. Okay. Yeah, makeup slash producer. And uh, what is her role as a producer? Is this part of marketing? She is no longer part of the project. Okay. She got really busy, but she helps out whenever she can. So, okay, so, so she's kind of there. She's kind of there, yeah. Who's this fellow over here? That's Tyler. Tyler. Uh, AD. Tyler. He yeah. runs the set. He runs the set, okay. First time doing AD. Oh, wow. That Everyone's is. first time job. And That's amazing, they do. First yeah. time running the set, man. May, hey, maybe with the movie debut, you can come here and let's just everybody come and, and let's Why show it, you know. That would be amazing. Take it live, you know. And that, there goes Edo again. <laughs> he's looking like he's already deployed. <laughs> because, you know, he was deployed. Oh, wow. Okay. Edo came from Afghanistan. That's when I met him, when he came from Afghanistan. Oh, wow. Okay. And then he told me his story about him joining the military. And I'm like, dude, okay, wow. we got to do a story. And then we wrote a story. You know what? We do have a clip of that, and we'll play that in a little oh, bit. Yeah. But let's look at these pictures real quick. And this is obviously on set. <laughs> is it for the shoot, too? Or is, are you guys shooting for the, the shoot. For the poster, okay. This is, this is all poster. That's cool. Actually, I have a question. Uh, can you go back to that picture real quick? All right. So uh, I've always wanted to ask that checkerboard board thing. <laughs> what is that? What does it do? What is it for? That uh, is for when we're editing. Okay. We have so much film. Just in the like one day of filming could be like eight hours worth of film. Right. So we need to know what take it is. Right. What scene. So that board tells us, okay, we're doing scene, let's say scene A, oh. this is the first time doing it, and then if we have to go back, it's take two. So now when we're fast forwarding, all we have to do is look for those little numbers and we know where we're at. Wow, you know, you just learned something here. I learned something <laughs> big. I didn't, <laughs> I just thought oh, you guys were doing it. Okay. <laughs> it's like a marker on it. Thing. Exactly, okay. it's yeah. a marker. Okay, all right. Um, and here's an, there's another okay, movie Okay, Tyler. Um, this one looks Bad. Young guy. Yeah. This is an amazing, amazing um, the, uh, photographer. His name is Tyler Ramirez. I think it's Ramirez. Ramirez yeah. Real cool brother. He did our posters. 19 years old. Oh wow. 19 yeah. years oh, old. Oh wow. He did this That's poster. That's like a pro right and there. And he did he did he did our first poster. When we put the posters out, everyone thought it was a Hollywood. That he did yeah, this. Poster. Yeah. He did this one too. Okay. And there's the the main poster is um I don't, I don't know if you guys have it but. This, this is a 19-year-old, 20-year-old kid that did this. And he's also a filmmaker. You know, he, he has his own series called The Walking Dead. Right. And he's shooting it here out in Ever Beach. Oh, wow. And, yeah, so... so it, maybe we can bring him on, too. Yeah, yeah man, yeah. you should talk yeah. to that guy. Yeah. He's an amazing kid. That's amazing. Okay. This, these are looking really good shots. Like, I saw that, I'm like, oh, let's His do brother it. did the special <laughs> effects. Uh, him and his, his, his little brother. His little brother do special effects for the films and stuff. Oh, yeah. Okay. And, and, you know, we mentioned a lot about um, Edo transitioning into the, from the Army and then, um, you know, some behind-the-scenes stuff. Uh, uh, Dasu also later joined your, uh, your training team, and that was mm -hmm. amazing. We actually have a clip for that. Uh, let's play that real quick, and you can tell us what's going on in here. Hi, everyone. So, um, another update. Let's get to it. cinema, which means um, we try to not have a lot of shaky cameras, and when we do the fighting choreography, uh, everybody could see everything. Well, it's called Guardian Fist. Get that in your mind right now, Guardian Fist. It's really derivative from an old Tibetan monk-style type fighting called Hapagar. Uh, normally in traditional movies, you see a lot of the art style of the martial arts. It becomes very flowery. 
but it doesn't become, uh, let's say, practical. And we have the modern martial arts or the military style combat, which is very effective, very uh, combative. So we're going to blend these two together. Uh, the actors themselves, they are very talented. This workout with Guardian Fist is, is brutal beyond anything I've ever done or ever will do. I'm telling you, you think you worked out, you haven't. You're going to see some arts that you have never seen before. You, have, you can't find them in any book. You can't find them on any YouTube channel. So only subscribe here, okay? See you guys later. So I would like to invite everyone, all of you, to come and pledge because every dollar will have for the completion of this movie. So what you're waiting for, go hurry up, go to the Kickstarter and pledge. And see you guys on the set, see you guys in the movie theater, and let's have fun. What characters you have. Yes. That's, a, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one thing I absolutely love about Edo is he is just so energetic and right. passionate, and he doesn't hide it. That's when good. When he gets excited, you know he's excited, <laughs> and he's just a great, great guy, and he's an amazing director, too. That's cool, and I, I, I imagine you guys forge your friendship and probably more projects in the future, hopefully. Yes. Oh, yeah, and that's why we <laughs> do it with the young people. Right. And as we get older... They call us they in. They can call. Okay. They can call us in when they make it big. That's amazing. That's like a youth program in itself. Exactly yeah. what it is. Is it is an adult, a young adult mentoring program that we have. You hear it here. You know. So join the movement. Okay, guys. Uh, we actually have like a. Uh, you know, the show's almost over. So uh, let's get your last thought. And um, you know, it's your movie. What you want people to know. And uh, any last words. I think uh, the one thing that I love about this movie is there's something for everyone. Okay. So there, it's an Asian movie. Okay. It is an Asian movie, but there's so many different. It's twists. in English too, right? It's in English. Okay. There's parts of it that are in Japanese. It's so multicultural, and there's so many amazing things that happen in the movie. So many different messages. There's a love story. Right. There's action. It deals with race. It deals with different problems that are on the island. So there's so much to it. That's the one thing I think everyone should know about it. And Quante? Listen, Hawaii. <laughs> this project is dedicated to, like, this place and the energy that this place, you know, creates when you come here. And watching Popolo Grove is a definite, um, it's a definite testament to the energy of Hawaii and the voices and the spirituality. And as you keep watching us and you sit there and keep watching, Maybe you'll come join and stop watching so much. <laughs> come join and stop watching so much. Be part of the movement, right? Because yes. the movement is happening. Might as well be part of it. And my kid is doing part of the soundtrack. Wow. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. So there's a lot of different ways you can go about this. You know, you music enthusiasts, uh, artists, uh, uh, hey, people that have extra money they want to give, you know, Everybody no has money a spot. To <laughs> you can have no money that you want no to money give. <laughs> you can be a part of this. Uh, uh, this is the Yap Show. It's Aloha Friday. You guys, thank you for being with us. We have a great amazing. We hope to follow up with this story. And uh, if they have to come with the official trailer, we'll, sh we'll debut it here uh, for you guys. And uh, stay tuned. And thank you for being here with us today. Aloha Friday. See you next week. Actually, see you two weeks from now because next week, Jay will be taking over for me, and I'll see you in two weeks. Thank you, and aloha.